TK421, why aren't you at your post? TK421, do you copy? Hello, this is Pilot TK421, leaving my post to come be your host and welcome you to the 2022 Evo Life Bloom event. Alright everybody, we're sitting here at the uh, hangar for the event of the uh, 2022 Evo Life Bloom event. And I must say, it looks pretty spiffy. We've got a little good luck Asian kitty down here and some war drums it looks like. And I must say, it does look really, really nice. I really, really like uh, the job that everybody does when they uh, decorate the hangars for these events. Uh, some of them are more memorable than others. The uh, last really memorable one I remember was the uh, one for the uh, Orochi when it came out. The Neo Tokyo scene, I think it was. That was also pretty good. It had a lot of detail put into it. Um, but yeah, I always like seeing these things and what they come up with for uh, decorations for the events and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty nice. I, I might say, well, say so myself. And being as we haven't uh, quite gotten the update and the event on PC yet, as of recording this anyway, as far as I know anyway, I'm over here on my Android account and I thought I would go through a few things. And first up we have the uh, Operation Event Task Chains for the event, and yeah, we've got your normal rewards that you normally get from uh, these types of things. You got some silver, some keys, some tokens for the event. It looks fairly good if you're into that sort of thing. And next up we've got the uh, actual event tasks. We've got your normal uh, tasks for the tokens and whatnot, and your quest chain tasks here. And that all looks pretty good too. Uh, let's see, we've got special deliveries. And let's see what they have up for grabs in this event here. Looks like they've got a Spirit Smuta, and the regular Smutas, the Harpies and Sirens, the Fafners, Repair Amplifiers, the Redacted Twins, Yang Li, and we've got components for all of the uh, aforementioned stuff too, it looks like. I don't know, I really wouldn't mind getting some Smutas, those would be kind of cool, I think. Not sure if I'm into the uh, limited edition ones so much on this uh, event, but uh, yeah, some resources too, those would be kind of cool to get. But I do, uh, you know, kind of like the limited editions and stuff like that, so if I do get some I'll probably just keep them around or whatever. But uh, yeah, I don't think I'm too terribly interested in the spirit ones, but uh, you never know. And in the next chest here, I'm guessing they're going to be kind of like silver, gold, and uh, diamond or whatever. I don't know. Bronze, silver, gold, who knows. Um, anyway, in the next chest, we've got the uh, Kepri and the Kitsune Harpy. And we've got the Whiteout Drone with the Spirit Razdor. And we've got regular Razdors, Cremolas. We've got Misaki and Pancho, sorry Panchi, and that is the Kepri Pilot, the new limited edition Kepri Pilot, which gives you uh, immunity to freeze, suppress, and lockdown while your ability is active. Sounds kind of cool. And then we've got the uh, Nian Pilot, which is also for the Kepri, which gives uh, additional bonuses to the uh, uh, built-in ability of the Kepri. Mm, got one of those or a few of those on the last event. And we've got Harpies and... Yeah, Harpies again. And uh, Kepri components, Harpy components, Kamola and Drasdor components, and more components. And we've got a few resources at the end here which are always cool to get to. And in the uh, big chest here, the Titan chest, I think I'll just call it, uh, we've got the Heimdale Titan. It's the new Titan that comes out. This one's uh, 
going to be pretty good for helping to keep your team alive, I think. Uh, looks like it's got some pretty cool abilities. Uh, I'll probably go through them later on at some other time, but uh, there's a quick overview for you if you want to pause it and take a look. And we've got the uh, Orion Mothership in there too. We've got the Baihu Lucador with the Baihu Basilisk and the Oolong Cinder. Wouldn't mind getting a few of these in uh, this event if we do happen to get some at some point in time. And we've got Basilisk, Cinders, Dazzlers, Lanterns. Uh, there's the Alpha and Beta new weapons. They apply the uh, Whiteout ability, I think it is, similar to the Whiteout drone. And basically, it uh, uh, blinds the target after a certain number of hits. It's got an effective accumulation rate of 116%, so yeah, looks kind of cool. I did get a chance to test them out on the uh, Nodens when it was in the test server, and uh, yeah, they weren't too bad. The lanterns, that is. I think they even got a bit of a buff since then, but uh, yeah. And they got the uh, Onslaught Reactor. It's probably about the next uh, um, damage amplifier that you'll want to probably get for your Titan, because this one will give you additional damage to Titans and additional damage in general just to any regular bugs. And we do have Orion Components, and a Lucador, and tokens for the event. And, well, since I'm just sitting here, I'll just uh, quickly open this up and see what I get here. And Harpy Components, those are cool. And in this chest here, let's see what we get. Hmm, that 1500 gold would be nice. Power cells. Oh well, can always use them. Anyway, uh, that about does it for that. And uh, I'm not going to do a hangar tour for you, but I will bring you one of the matches that I had. Uh, well, I'm always messing around waiting for the update and, well, not waiting for the update, but waiting for the event and stuff like that, and, uh, yeah, I was just really playing around doing some of the tasks for the other event, but, uh, yeah, I'll bring you that match, so, yeah, that about does it, so I will just tuck on out and I will bring you some heavily medicated gameplay from my Android account, so stick around.